Peter Farrell, Executive Vice President of Commercial Operations Globally, Sunnyvale, California. So um, tuberculosis in, in India, it's a high prevalence. Um, there's 26% uh, of the cases of tuberculosis are here in India. There's many um, people that are uh, affected, but most importantly, 850,000 people go undetected or undiagnosed or, or wrongly treated each year in India. So tuberculosis in India is, is something that is very complicated. It has to do with being able to improve access, improve medications to be able to help eliminate the disease like the government wants to do by 2025. Sure. So Cepheid is a, a global molecular diagnostic company. We, are, um, we have manufacturing facilities in, in California as well in, as in Sweden. We have commercial offices in all the main um, countries around the world. And, and in India, in 2008 is when we first started selling our products into the country. In 2013, we established our office. And um, we have had a number of accomplishments. In fact, one of the ones that we're announcing today is our initiative to be able to um, plan to have manufacturing in the country to make sure that localization has an impact on the patient. Um, so, so in India, we've had uh, tremendous growth. Um, Cepheid has grown 6x the market. Part of the reason why we've grown so quickly is our innovation with our product. And uh, when I look at innovation and I think about innovation, there are some things that we've done. Eight years ago, we launched the uh, MTB RIF cartridge, and we are now looking at the next generation of cartridge that we will have in the future, TB Ultra, which is um, be, uh, before the approval cycle here in India. We also announced today the Gene Expert Edge, which allows for more testing to be done closer to the patient. The system is battery operated, easy to use, and uh, uses the same cartridges as we have today. And lastly, one of the things that is most important is drug-resistant um, infections. And we are working on the initial stages of working on a cartridge to be able to detect that. Yes. So currently, we are only uh, detecting rifampicin resistance. And our future technology, our XDR cartridge, will be something that will involve um, multi-drug resistance. So our, our test cost has been established through a partnership with NGOs, um, Gates Foundation, and CHAI, um, as well as the Global Fund to Initiate, where we've established a price, an access price, for India and other high burden countries around the world. How we plan to help get the gene expert into those places where um, it needs it most, where the patients live in the villages and the more rural areas. We've implemented uh, 45 vans with FIND as well as the government of India to be able to do testing. We've also um, are launching our Gene Expert Edge, which allows for a battery operated system to be taken to the field closer to the patient, which will allow both diagnosis and treatment to happen the same day. In fact, our tests will only take 80 minutes. So our announcement today was really our intention of setting up um, manufacturing. We're still going through the process of deciding what that would look like. We will le leverage our parent company, Danaher, and we'll also investigate other options for us to do uh, manufacturing in country. What this will do is it will, it will provide um, more uh, access for the patients and the customers by having longer shelf life, being able to reduce inventory costs, for our customers to be able to provide those to the patient. Well, India, our growth in India has been tremendous. In fact, it's um, right now about seven, the last five years have been about seven times GDP. And so that has been an area as well as the infection rate of TB is highest here in India. So that's why it was important for us to help the fight against TB and to be able to eliminate uh, TB by 2025 as the government has planned. We will look at what our volumes are and how our business continues to grow to determine where the best places are to be able to set up more manufacturing in India. We feel quite comfortable with our initial plan that will get us through the next three to five years. Well, TB, is, TB, is, um, TB globally is a problem. In the, in the uh, high burden developing countries, it is more of a problem. And so we have seen access starting to increase 
Um, the governments are starting to su supply their own tests in their countries um, after initial instruments being um, adopted. And so we're starting to see the proliferation of more tests being done for TB mm -hmm. in many different countries. So that has expanded as well as the, the uh, detection and the need for better detection and solutions that get closer to the patient are really what is happening. So we see access, innovation, and localization being really key around the globe for TB testing. So in the developing countries, um, the high burden countries, it is the same model where we have partners that help um, establish programs, but more and more the governments are starting to take ownership of providing these tests in the country.